how do you die daily? Uh, this might seem funny to you, but this is literally how it happens for me. I just, I literally go like this, and I lay my life down. I, I literally get low, and I pour myself out in His presence, and I look at how many things I can't do and how many things He can. And I say, God, let your love shine through me and let me be covered in your cloak, covered in your beauty. And so I die, he lives, and that's a glorious thing. And it's a daily struggle. It's a daily battle. It's a daily joy. Um, strange to hear those three words in the same context, but it's a struggle, it's a battle, and it's a joy. Because the more you get in the way, the less he has control. So uh, even speaking, I prepare like this. You know, it's like, help! I cry out for his help, and then I just listen and try to put myself in line to hear Holy Spirit. And as I hear Holy Spirit, uh, he puts things in my mind that I wouldn't think of otherwise. And so that's the other side of the question of how do we allow Holy Spirit to fully control us. We, do, we get in this place of yielded love where we're so, we're so totally um, just open to his voice that we start, we start hearing him in a way that it doesn't make sense to a normal person maybe who's just walking around in the world because they can't hear like we hear with our ears, but we hear with our spirit and then Holy Spirit goes into our heart and he puts thoughts in your mind. I call it spiritual intelligence. And I really am pretty excited about spiritual intelligence, having the mind of Christ, listening to him. And then when you're getting up, you're literally hearing what he's saying and you're doing what he's doing. And the more you obey, the more you find out um, the next thing he wants you to do. So if you'll obey this little thing he gives you, he'll give you more. So it's this, it's obedience and love and low and slow and it's all together. It's awesome.